Ah, hello everybody. I'm uh, flying my Phantom 4 Pro drone again uh, in the Green River, Wyoming area, and this is known as Wild Horse Canyon. Flying north uh, up, up the canyon road here, and the road um, is paved up to the hotel, which is just a half a mile or less from I-80, and it's a dirt road the rest of the way. So, flying up the uh, canyon here towards the north, Turn back south for a bit, checking out this formation. Heading back north towards the, um, up the canyon again and kind of moving in on this uh, one formation in the foreground and uh, in a moment I'm going to do kind of a side slip to the right to peek up the canyon again. Kind of a partial orbit. All right, we're further south now and heading uh, towards the west into the bowl area of the um, Wild Horse Canyon at pretty much at the bottom of it. But um, I'm looking over here at this formation closest to us and I see um, towards the bottom right this lone rock kind of standing up on the slope. And that looks kind of odd the way that's sitting there standing up like that on the slope. And then as I climb up a bit here I notice at the top of this formation there's kind of an arch right at the top of it. Turning to look up the canyon again. Okay, heading uh, west into the bowl area where the major formations are. And I'm kind of heading towards this one that's right of center. Turning south here in a second. And if you notice, there's a person walking between to the right of that, um, that second tower. Kind of gives you a sense of the scale. I know I, I look like I'm heading right for him, but trust me, I turn it to avoid him. You don't want to fly over people if you can avoid it. Certainly not groups of people. And to the left of the, the two formations there, um, those are probably the ones that are most obvious uh, from, the, from the road. And uh, the one that's furthest south, a little bit more towards the center in this view, is known as uh, Tea Kettle Rock. 
and you can kind of see on the right side or north side of it there's almost like a handle so that's known as tea kettle rock I don't know if the other formations in this group have names I didn't see any listed for them so Tea Kettle Rock is the only one that I can tell that has an actual name. So passing between these twin towers, twin rocks, heading basically west at this point, and another one of those video glitches that I can't seem to avoid. And as I head further west here, appearing just beyond um, the formations here and past the bend in the river is uh, the town known as Jamestown. It's only a few miles west of Green River. Doing like a 360 uh, spin around here. And that rock to the left is across I-80. We'll get a closer look at that in a few minutes. So heading back uh, sort of north now back into the what I kind of refer to as the bowl area I like the um, the colorations in the soils here it's uh, you know it won't be long uh, this was filmed in early December it won't be long before that's pretty much covered with snow so we you won't get a good look at it until springtime. And you see the car path. More like pickup truck or jeep path at the top there. All right, moving in again to get a cl closer look at this solo uh, tower. And uh, by my guesstimation, it's about 45 feet or about 14 meters tall. Okay, so we've moved positions, a different uh, flight, uh, and we um, are flying upstream of the Green River, heading west, towards this uh, formation I mentioned a couple of minutes ago that was on the other side of I-80. And Jamestown would be right at the left edge of the video at this point. Okay, turning to look north towards the Wild Horse Canyon where we were just at. You can see the formations there. A little better. And again, the, uh, the colorations in the soil there, it looks... That's kind of beautiful. 
All right, beginning to do a, a pullback. And I'll be flying backwards here across the river. That's a nice shot there. You get that large formation in the foreground and Wild Horse Canyon in the background. Clover Leith of, uh, on uh, the exit for I-80. The Green River appearing now at the bottom. And you can see there's a bit of ice in the river. All right, heading in uh, sort of the, the last segment of the uh, video, this formation which is on the south side of the river. We were just previously on the, the north side of the river. And again, the colorations in the, in the rock and soil is, is quite interesting. A little canyon um, to the left. Now doing a pullback. And we're getting to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have some more uh, videos from this Green River trip. And I hope you get a chance to check them out. Have a nice day.